Hey, Mary Kennedy here. I just wanted to show you the this or that for um, power and product rules. And so this is what it looks like when you first open it. This is the teacher side. Um, it's already um, configured for you. You don't have to make any changes. I just want to point out a couple of things. Um, most of them have four answer choices, but a couple of problems have more than four. They might have six or eight. Um, because I'm trying to include everything that, you know, will sort of catch and assess what a student is really missing if they're not understanding. And so you'll see, I got lots of choices here and they're all very specifically chosen. I didn't just put random answer choices. So if you wanna um, delete any of those extras, you can always go in here and just click on the X and remove them. Um, you don't have to, but if you just don't want your kids to have that many choices, then you can always do that. So, um, all right, let's take a look at this or that. So this is what it looks like on the student side when you share it with students. Um, they can put in their last name or first name. If you don't want that, then of course you can delete that out here. So if you don't need that, just hit the little trash can button here and delete it. Um, or if you want them to type in something else, then you can change you know, the wording on that for sure. So they go through and they just pick this or that just for fun, you know, just to make it a little more um, engaging and more personal so they can pick whichever um, one they want and it will correct them if they don't put in their name. So you click next and then you get question 1A because I picked um, choice A on the this or that. And so whether they pick A or B, they're going to get the same rigor, the same, it's going to be assessing the same ideas um, for A and B. So it's okay if they pick all A questions, um, they'll get the same level of assessment as if they picked alternating or all Bs or six A choices and four B choices, you know, it doesn't matter what combination. So um, all that's worked out ahead of time. So. For this one, um, you know, they'll choose their answer and click next, and then they can choose, you know, which one they like. So if I pick B here, then it takes me notice to question 2B. And so I get that one, and I'm just going to pick an answer, not really looking at the problem, and so on. So that's how it works um, as you go through. And yeah, let me know if you have a question. My email is mary at kennedyfam5.com. Bye.